Hey there YouTube, it's Marvin here. Uh, today I'm gonna be installing this brake controller for my 2020 F-150 Lariat. So this controller is a, like a backward compatible from 2015 F-150. I believe it's until 2020 or 2021. And uh, that's the part number right there. This is OEM. I bought it from Ford. Cost me 289 uh canadian plus taxes uh, if you uh, take note that a uh, uh, different dealer they have different prices you know i some dealer they uh when i called they said like it's 325 the other dealer 327 plus taxes and some yeah this is the third one the third one i called and then it's uh, 289 plus taxes so that's a big difference depends like uh, which dealer so as you can see right here i got this uh, trailer back up uh, whatever you call this like a knob you know but i don't have a brake controller and uh, i just got this truck like six months ago i sold my pathfinder i sold my 20 footer trailer and i got this truck because uh, yeah, I want I wanted to get a uh, like like probably like 26, 28 max uh, travel trailer because I have three kids. So all right, so and actually this it comes with a fuse, 30 amperes fuse. It's right there. So we're gonna check that if uh, my truck has the. 30 amp, uh, amperes fuse already okay let's go under the hood i already opened the hood so i haven't opened the uh, fuse box yet all right so this is the fuse box it's on the rear left side if you're facing the the truck so what you have to do is to open the small one here it is not a one piece, so okay. Just lift this up and then release the tab here and this right here. All right, so I watched the other YouTuber like it shows it shows that which uh, fuse do you need? He said like uh, some F one fifty depends on the year. It might not come with a fuse or probably it uh, depends on the trim or probably you don't even have a spot in uh, for the fuse. And he said that the fuse is uh, this one here, which I already have. The 30 amps right there, the pink one. That's from 40, 30, and then 20, 10, and then 30. Let me grab the fuse that comes with it. I think it's the same color. All right, so this is the fuse that uh, comes with the brake controller that I bought, and uh, that's exactly the same one at 30 amps right there, right there. And in case, I think this is the label. I think the part number. I should say the part number is the top one, in case you guys need it. Okay, let's start. To, since I already have the fuse there. So let's start installing the uh, brake controller. Alright guys, so I'm gonna be using these tools here and a 7mm uh, socket. Uh, I already start uh, trying to take off the top right here. And then yeah, they for the 2020, I don't know if they have like all the same bolts, but it's uh, uh, it's 7mm that you need there so like a two uh, bolts under of this plastic by the way like i've already like i, I watch so many youtube videos you know how to like how and what to remove when installing the brake controller and this uh, video is just like i'm trying to find an efficient way and uh, you know less time less thing to remove and then share with you guys so that you know if uh, you guys want to do it too like uh, you don't have to remove the unnecessary things that you don't need to so first because I've seen a video that like they remove the screen here 
uh, I have the it is a Lar uh, Lariat uh, trim, so I have like BNO sound system there. So yeah, uh, but I, either way, I think they're all the same. I've seen guy that uh, he removed this. This there's another two. There's two bolts here that he removed, and then I think another two here uh, under this. So what I did here is, uh, if you can see here, on the right uh, front corner of this uh, plastic tray. It's so bright right now, but there's a, like a small gap right there that you can insert insert here your prying plastic tools and let's see if you guys can see that. Oh, oh man, that's almost hit my face. Alright guys, as you can see, I used to plastic prying tools and there's a three like a plastic tab like a white one that uh, you have to release like uh, on both uh, sides and in the center it's hard to see right now but what you have to do when you see that plastic uh, lock you just have to push it uh, push it in, uh, in push it in and then once you push that uh, plastic uh, in uh, this tray will pop off like so uh, it's hard to see right now but I'll show you what I did like uh, let let's remove it uh, remove it completely and then I'll show you how did I do it all right guys so this is the plastic uh, tab that I I don't know what they, exactly they call that but it's like the plastic lock that you have to uh, push in while lifting up the tray you just once you push it in like you use the the, the, the uh, prying tools to push that in and then this one will just pop off all right guys so I removed the two bolts from here and then after that let me put this away after that you just have to hold right here both corners and then like gently pull it out uh, pull it out as you can see now it's already out it's kind of like kind of stiff when you trying to pull it out but as you can see there's tab like uh, another tab there so like it means like it has oh actually it has like uh, like three tabs on the top and then one right here, one right here, and at the bottom of this, uh, the screen, as you can see, right there. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is to pop this off. Not completely remove remove it, but there's this like a tab that like holding this, you know, this trim here, which we're gonna re uh, remove the. Uh, the left side I'm not sure if do I have if I, I will try not to remove it completely if I have can access the you know that uh, uh, trader and replace it with the uh, brake controller otherwise this one is almost free to go I just have to see another I think there's another tab that you have to remove here let me do that and then All right, guys. So what I did here is see right there. I opened the center console compartment, and then I insert the prying tools here and lift it up, like helping. Like if you can insert the prying tools as well here, and then you can have like your hand help here, and then while prying this part, you can just lift it up, and then there's a locking tab. In the corner right here and in the corner on the other side so the same thing on the other side just pry it on the corner and then lift it up yeah so and then you can see where is the top that's the lock here and then on the other side as well all right so I yeah managed to remove the this big trim here as you can see that's the tab that's holding 
this plastic piece here the same on the other side that is we need to remove it goes inside right there just make sure when you pull it that the plastic this thing is stays also on the other side so it's quite like when you pull it you just have to flip it up a little bit and then hold it with your two hands right one here and one here and then uh, pull it backwards it's yeah it's a kind of like really stiff when you pull it but don't worry as long as you pull it straight with with your hands like at the same time straight you won't break anything and if you really want to completely rem remove it you just have to put the shifter to like all the way back here and then you can completely remove remove this plastic trim but yeah but what i'm trying to do right now is trying to like see if i can like install this with the, like you know like uh, uh, removing less of the trim without completely removing all the the trim that's what i'm trying to do so but i guess the stereo i think I ha it has to be completely off because as you can see this uh, side here is also sitting uh, in this part here so the same on the other side so let's see how to i'll try to remove it completely all right so the whole uh stereo trim is completely off i did not remove all the wires as you can see there's another tree uh, locked at the bottom but you can you can just pull it gently uh, on both corners and then it will come off okay see just to show you like a uh, top of the stereo trim is like has three lock two in the middle and three at the bottom so what i'm gonna do is like i don't want to remove the wires let's see just you know just make sure that it's it's very easy to remove the wires but i mean i can access the two bolts and other bolts that i have to remove because this plastic trim at the bottom you really have to remove it because it's holding this uh this uh trim here also on the other side we're not gonna touch this one here anyway just to avoid not to scratch it as you can see right here it's sitting on this thing this is the the one that we need to remove so let's remove the let me remove the bolt all right so if you have the same ratchet as mine this is a craftsman once you loosen the bolt you can just turn it using this thing here Like right now, what I'm doing is just I loosen the bolts and then I can just turn it like this. Alright, so I remove the bolt. As you can see, this plastic trim it's just sitting there. Uh, the bolts, two bolts are ho holding this plastic trim. It's just like covering the bottom. I'm just gonna put it here and I just put this uh, towel here to protect things from scratches so now we'll see now I'm gonna try to pop this thing off all right so let's see all right so this uh, trim here very easy to remove you just have to Pull it backwards and as you can see here there's the tub on the top that goes in there and there the tab on the side I'll take some pictures so that you guys can exactly uh, like you guys can see it properly and once you pop this the top off actually you can remove it completely by just popping this side trim here on the driver's side here and as you can see this is this can be removed completely freely so yeah you don't have to remove the trim here you know under the steering wheel 
that's not necessary actually so I'm gonna summarize everything what I did later so that you know like it's gonna be easy for you guys to understand and then you know like it will save you time if you wanna do it yourself all right let me remove this completely but be careful there's a wire actually that holding this uh, uh, knob here and this one here all right so as you can see this is like hanging freely I did not remove any connectors of the wire even on the uh, trim of the stereo still all connected I just put it away as I said if you if you move the ships there all the way back when you put your key or yeah turn on the you know like the the press the button without turning the engine or probably I guess you have to turn the engine on and then shift it backwards you can remove this completely but I mean this trim completely but it's really not necessary as you can see I have access to the this one here like the tray that they put on in, instead of the brake controller so now that's completely off put it there and I have to look for the wire which I don't see it that is my problem right now hopefully I have that if I don't have so that's gonna be my problem All right let me look for that wire because usually it's supposed to be connected right there anyway anyway guys as I said I had to remove this completely I mean just uh, to look for the wire because it scared me like I don't have the harness for the brake controller controller usually you know like it's attached right here so I have to remove that and look for it and I don't see anything there and I said what and I have I look here and I saw a that wire right there so I just take a chance to put my hand here and where is it now and actually that's not the one but I found it I found it inside it's been removed probably you know like I don't know why it's removed anyway uh, let me see if I can put it in this hole here all right so I have to fish that wire because I cannot reach it with my hand and oh no no it's supposed to go on the other uh, here but it's already there let's see Sorry guys, it's hard to work with uh, one hand holding the camera, so it's supposed to be there, and that thing's supposed to attach to this uh, tray, but it wasn't. But doesn't matter. It's uh, I have the harness. That's the most important thing. Okay, just I just wanted to show you this uh, uh, harness here that i found it on the it's oh it's it's there in the glove box for since i bought the truck and yeah and i was thinking this is for the brake controller but uh, yeah it says there is a brake controller actually so i uh, so i assume that this is for the aftermarket brake controller and then you can attach it here it fits here i already tried it let's uh, yeah as you can see it fits right there so for sure this is if you want to use the aftermarket brake controller they provide the wire I don't know if well it was there in the glove box yeah so if uh, you want to use the aftermarket uh, brake controller this is the harness wire that you need that this connector will go in here and then you have to wire this to your uh, aftermarket one and just want to show you here probably that's the part number in case you guys need it oh that's surprising made in the philippines and it's uh, and yeah so like uh, it's kind of strange when i after removing everything and i didn't find this uh, harness because i have the 30 um fuse for the trailer i mean for the brake controller and i don't have the harness man anyway it's there uh, let's uh, install the brake controller and put everything back and uh, 
After that, I'm going to program to enable it to using the force gun. All right, so the brake controller plugin, you make sure to hear the click when you plug it in and then you install it. The, the positive sign is on the top. Just want to show you how I put this back. Uh, just to show you guys that you don't really have to remove any connector, wire connector from this piece here and the stereo. You can really install this without removing those. Okay, so I'm just gonna push this in here. Oh, sorry. Let's show you guys here. Just gonna push this in. Should click like that. And then that is installed. And then you just have to put this back, this trim back in. You have to push the bottom first. And then it will all just just push in, push all the tabs like that. All right. All right. So the stream here is in. We didn't touch the other side. As you can see the brake controller is already there. As you can see, the brake controller is already installed. It's kind of uh, awkward actually. The location here. This is for emergency. This is emergency braking of the uh, of the trailer. I don't know why they put it there. They should put this the controller on top right here, and this uh, like four wheel drive uh, selector at the bottom here because you don't really touch this all the time. So when you're driving here, you can supposed to access the reach the controller easily. But here, it's kind of awkward, man. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I believe that they relocated on the 2021 uh, and up model because the yeah people complaining it uh, complaining about it oh, and uh, also they have issue with the seven pin connector at the back of the track because like they kind of put it upside down and then it keep disconnecting when there's a bump because of the weight of the uh, of the uh, wire so like i think they also corrected that uh, uh, on the 21 2021 model and up so that issue i already know it that uh, you know like while you're holding your trailer it's keep saying on your screen that trailer disconnected disconnected is it's not the brake controller issue it's the seven pin connector at the back like uh, there's some people like they put like a tie wrap or whatever to, uh, to secure that connector which i'm gonna do that when I got a new trailer because I sold my old one. I'm gonna, you know, buy a a bit bigger one because I have three kids with a bunk bed. Yeah, so let's see. All right, so this is uh, uh, in, and then the next thing you have to uh, install back is the stereo trim. But since that's already removed, it's a good uh, time to clean the inside here. Yes, you can see lots of dust there that you cannot reach. I'll clean that. Actually, don't forget the plastic trim. Actually, where is that trim? The bottom plastic trim, actually, <laughs> right here. So yeah, that's the next thing you have to install, and then the the front face trim of the stereo. Okay, let's let's install this back. All right, the plastic trim. It's installed and uh, I already put the bolts there we just have to tighten the bolts I said if you have the ratchet as the same as mine you can just do this to turn the bolt easily and then tighten it you don't really have to tighten it because it is it's just a quarter turn when as soon as it's not right let's tighten all the bolts and uh, install the uh, front face stereo. All right, the bottom plastic trim installed, and uh, of course I also clean the LCD screen, which I trying to protect the part here actually with this towel, not to scratch. And I forgot 
I, for, I totally forget about the screen which is also need protection I didn't scratch it but I mean yes if you guys doing it I would yeah cover the screen as well in case of uh, you know you don't want to uh, the worst thing is gonna happen is you break the screen that's I totally forget about that but good thing I didn't scratch it or anything anyway I'm gonna put this back here I think as you can see I didn't remove anything I mean the I didn't remove any harness but well, this one gonna go right there uh oh I push that thing the hazard light I think you just have to put that push that everything sorry about that there you go I can even install it with one hand and the last thing forgot to mention that the bolts you know for the bottom there and on the top is like uh, they're the same exactly the same bolts so <clears throat> just to recap so all you have to do is to pry this thing and then release those three tabs and then remove the two bolts and then hold it here and then pull it back and then also in the corner here you just pull the corner back and then this whole trim will come off and then let's you have to pry it here pry it here and then use your both hands you know both sides and then pull it straight and it's gonna come off you can see there's a lock there on both uh, and you need that because you have to uh, take this off you don't have to remove all the wires there's like lots of slack to you know like uh, work uh, to install the brake controller and then and then you can just pull this on the driver's side just the end you just pull this up you just pull this off and then this thing will come off as well that's why for my uh, camera dash cam right there yeah so okay this one is secure I'm just gonna put the two bolts uh, back right not too tight that's it and you just have to push this down okay there you go and say hello to my bulldog <laughs> all right so the last part is this one here Alright, so as you can see here, you just have to push it down, push it down, and then it will go under of the stream. Oh, see that? I just, uh, yeah, I just push this down here, and then it goes in right there. And then, yeah, have to tap this, tap that. Okay, just to make sure. There you go. All right, so as you can see everything is everything's back the way it was. Let's close this, and uh, there you have it, guys. The brake controller installed. All I have to do now is to program it uh, using the force scan to enable it. And uh, yeah, I believe the 2021. If you have the Sync 4, 
I think it's accessible from the settings, the car settings. You can uh, activate and deactivate the brake controller rider. Uh, I have the sync tree and uh, I don't think it does. It has that, but I will double check it before doing the force scan. I have the force scan uh, uh, tool. Yeah, so I ha I'm gonna make another video of that, uh, how to uh, enable it, a separate video I mean. Yeah, so just to show you what I actually use, uh, tools I use is, this is the only tools I use actually, probably. This is the one. Uh, this is the one I use to push that white tab to release it. Otherwise, the tools to remove the bolts only four bolts you have to remove. You don't need anything. So, and I guess that's the more efficient and faster way to install the brake controller. Again, just remember: as soon as you remove this panel here for the stereo, try to protect the screen and other thing that uh, you don't want to get scratch, especially the screen. You can. You know like poke it with your tools and then break the screen right so anyway guys uh let's uh oh let's turn it on if just to make sure <laughs> that uh, my screen is still there you go everything still works fine screen is on that's uh, i changed that logo as well with my force gun Anyway guys, hopefully you guys find this video informative and helpful, uh, helpful and if you do, please hit that like button and probably subscribe and uh, yeah, I'm, as I said, I'm gonna make a separate video to uh, how to uh, enable the brake controller using Forescan. There's lots of video out there that you can watch but I just, you know, just thought it to make that video, you know, because it's related to what the video that I made today. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.